The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, reminds us of the purpose of our calling. Ephesians 4 verse 1 says, I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling which with you were called. To serve with a purpose. To our master guides who are graduating, you have answered the call to serve. You have committed yourselves to a path of leadership, mentorship, and spiritual growth. Paul's urgency to be worthy of the calling is a reminder to your journey is not about acquiring knowledge or skills. It is about living out the principles of Christ-like service in every aspect of your lives. Philippians 1 verse 27 says, Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Being worthy means embodying the values of humility, gentleness, patience, and love. It means being a reflection of Christ's character through your words, actions, and attitudes. As master guides, you are called to be the role models and leaders who inspire others to follow Jesus. Let us remember that walking worthy of our calling also involves continual personal and spiritual development. It is a commitment to our lifelong learning, prayer, and fellowship with other believers. This journey requires resilience and perseverance. The path may be challenging, but the rewards are eternal as we impact lives for the kingdom of God. Think about the significance of the small everyday actions we take. The way you interact with others, the kindness you show, and the integrity that you maintain in your personal life. All of these reflect your commitment to walking with your calling. Each moment is an opportunity to demonstrate the love of Christ and to be a light in this world. In Ephesians 4, verse 11 to 12, Paul writes, And he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, with the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for edifying the body of Christ. Your training as master guides and as pathfinders has equipped you for the ministry of guiding and nurturing the faith of others. 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 and 17 reminds us, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, for instruction of righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. You have learned to teach, you have learned to lead, and to serve with excellence. These skills are not only for personal growth, but for the edification of the church community. Use them to build up to others, to mentor the youth, and to foster a spirit of unity and love within the church. Consider the tools and resources you have been given, from the wisdom in Scripture to the support of your fellow leaders. You are well equipped to face the challenges, well, well equipped to embrace every opportunity to apply what you have learned, whether in small group settings, large congregational gatherings, or one on one mentorship. Moreover, think about the legacy you are building, the seeds you plant today in the hearts of those you mentor grow and bear fruit long into the future. Your influence will extend far beyond the immediate impact, shaping the spiritual journeys of future generations. Proverbs 11 verse 3 says, The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. As leaders, integrity is paramount. Your influence and effectiveness as master guides and as pathfinders defend on, on your depend on your commitment to your honesty, transparency, and moral uprightness. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, Paul advises, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. In a world where integrity is often compromised, be the shining examples who uphold the highest standard of conduct. Let your integrity be a guiding light for others, showing them that it is possible to lead with righteousness and truth. Remember in 
integrity also involves accountability. Surround yourself with fellow believers who will hold you accountable and support you in maintaining high moral standards. Your commitment to integrity will inspire trust and respect, not only within the church, but also in the wider community. <coughs> Reflect on the verse of Proverbs 10, verse 9. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Integrity provides a firm foundation, allowing you to lead with confidence and assurance, knowing that your actions will be aligned with God's will. Jesus in Matthew 20, verse 28 says, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Christ's example of servant leadership is the ultimate model, is the ultimate model for your service as a master guys as future masters. True leadership is rooted in compassion and a willingness to put others' needs above your own. Galatians 5 verse 13 encourages us, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Seek out opportunities to serve with compassion and empathy, whether it is through community outreach mentoring young people, or supporting your fellow church members. Let your actions be driven by a heart of service, mirroring the love of Christ. Consider the many ways you can serve with compassion, visiting the sick, helping the needy, and offering a listening ear to those who are struggling. These acts of kindness, though they may seem small, like the heart of Christ to make a significant impact to those around you. In addition, think about the importance of advocacy. Stand up for those who cannot stand for themselves. Use your influence to bring about a positive change in your community. Your compassion can transform lives and communities, creating a ripple effect of kindness and justice. Finally, remember the promise of Jesus in Acts 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the world, and to the end of the earth. Your ability to serve effectively as master guides is not solely dependent on your training and skills, but on the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Zechariah 4 verse 6 reminds us, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Rely on the Holy Spirit to guide, strengthen, and inspire you. Through His power, you will be able to fulfill your calling, overcome challenges, and make a lasting impact for God's kingdom. Seek the Holy Spirit in prayer daily, asking for His guidance and strength. Be open to His leading, and be ready to respond to His promptings. It is through His power that you will find the courage to step out of faith and wisdom to make decisions that are in God. Remember the promise in John 14, verse 26, but the help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. The Holy Spirit is your constant companion, providing the wisdom and strength you need to navigate the challenges of leadership and service. As you graduate today, Take, you, take with you the words of Ephesians 1 verse 1. Remember that you are equipped for ministry, called to lead, serve with compassion, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Your journey as master guides and as pathfinders are only just beginning, and the church is blessed to have you as leaders and mentors. In closing, I want to share 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always about you in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Congratulations to each of you. May God bless you abundantly as you continue to walk this path, serving with purpose, dedication, and faithfulness. As you step into your roles, remember that you are a part of a larger mission. The impact of your service will ripple through the lives you touch and extend far beyond what you can see. Be steadfast knowing that your efforts are building God's kingdom and bringing glory to his name.